This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. This video will derive the power rule. So what does the power rule say? Well, we'll get there. If we start with a function that looks like this, some variable to some power, in this case, the variable is x. Um, what I would like to do is take the derivative of this function. Uh, and of course, if you're finding the derivative, we're going to use the definition of derivative. So here we have the limit as h approaches 0. Again, we replace the x with x plus h. So you're going to get x plus h to the n minus the original function. all over h. Okay, so seems pretty straightforward. Well, this is where you really need to know something about the binomial theorem. I'm going to take this and expand it. So you would get x to the n um, plus you're going to get, uh, let's see, how does this go? You're going to get n x to the n minus 1 h um, as our first term, or actually our second term, and we're going to keep going. So our next term would be n, n minus 1, times x to the n minus 2, um, times h uh, squared. And of course this would all be over 2. Okay, and so on. We're going to keep going down the list all the way to plus n x h to the n minus 1 and finally the last term would be h to the n okay that's what you would get when you expand this you get this really long polynomial then we have this minus x to the n all of it is over h Okay, so I don't think I have to write as much the second line or the next line down. Okay, so what's going to happen if we're now going to allow these terms to cancel? In other words, this negative x to the n with the x to the n, those two terms go away. Okay, that's one step. I really don't want to rewrite all this again. So I'm going to take another liberty here of saying that I'm going to reduce the H's, right? Every term up here has uh, a term with an H in it. So if you think about all this, all of these H's are going to go down by one power. Okay, so in other words, this one's going to cancel and all the other powers are going to go down by one. So you're going to see uh, this term, x to the n minus 1, but the h's cancel. You're going to see this term, n, n minus 1, all over 2, x to the n minus 2. You're going to get this one is going to be h, dot, dot, dot. And this one's going to have uh, one less h in it. So let's see, this is going to be n x h the n minus 2, oop, n minus 2. And then here, this is going to be h to the n minus 1. Pretty easy to see. Of course, we're taking the limit of all of this, right? The limit of all of this as h approaches 0. Now, if h is approaching 0, this term, all the terms, see, all of these terms have an h in them. So if you're going to take a zero, multiply it by whatever is around it, right? That's, this whole term is going to be a zero. All of the terms in between these terms are going to be zero. All of these terms will be zero because they all have h's in them. So the only term remaining after the h goes to zero is this term right here. So you'll get that right there. And that's the power rule. So really, the power rule is pretty easy. So if you're given a power, or sorry, x to some power, you take the power, it becomes a coefficient, and you reduce the power by 1 
keeping the same variable, and you've do, you just took the derivative of that particular term. So the power rule is actually pretty simple to use, and the proof is really not that bad if you think about it and understand the binomial theorem. So please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, uh, go back to Math Guide, check out our hundreds, literally hundreds of lessons, quizzes, and our instructional videos. Take care.